Okay, hello to the group. So I went fishing yesterday, and the video is going to follow this. Uh, went to a place called Willow Pond, just west of Holiday, Utah here. And I've been fishing this area for quite a while because it's easy to get to. It's a small pond, um, and they stock it with uh, rainbow trout. Um, but they've since stocked it with brook trout. Brook trout of 15 to 18 inches, which is pretty darn big fish. And I've thrown everything at this place. And the one bait, which which is, I don't want to say amazing, but it's pretty darn good, is this X-Zone. And this is the, the, the color I've been using. Um, it's the Hot Shot Minnow. This, maybe they're all, they're all Hot Shot Minnows. But this is the 309. And I don't know what it is about this stuff. Um, I received these as a tackle pack I purchased through In Fisherman Magazine. And I tried them out on a whim. And they're great. With a jig head and just casting at a, a regular retrieve. No real pause. Um, the fish in the video coming up, I didn't even feel it hit. I don't. I've never, I don't know if I've ever, maybe other than a northern pike, um, it it just, it must have ate it and then swam with it because I didn't even feel it. And then the last cast, um, I'm using the Aldebaran BFS, and on the last cast, I lost my lure because the line snapped on me. And um, I really have to learn how to fish this equipment um, because every once in a while, I'll get a little too aggressive, and I'll, I'll snap my wrist, which is what I've done in the past with other, you know, monofilament-type setups, and it's just too much for this four-pound test, um, even though this bait is probably less than an eighth of an ounce. So that's my learning moment, and now i gotta, I got to deal with this and um, get the bird's nest out and restring it. I just hung it up. I was like, okay, I'm done. And I had to go do other things in the afternoon. But um, point taken that the BFS is a different animal. And with light gear and light equipment, it doesn't, um, there's you, there's not a whole lot of leeway there to kind of, you know, do stuff. You got to be mindful of everything when you're casting this. And I'm using the Saranoia Elf uh, Trout Rod too which is a fairly forgiving rod. Um, and I love this rod. Love it. Um, it's incredible. It points so well. You throw the bait where you want to throw it, and it goes right where you want to go, where you want it to go. Um, all right, that's my update. Check out the, uh, the video coming up of my, uh, my, my fishing weirdness um, that I try to, <laughs> I try to manage as best as possible. All right, cheers. Okay, hello to the group. So today I'm fishing the uh, the uh, new rod, the Vicus S662 medium light. And I'm fishing a drop shot. Never fished a drop shot before. I think I'm calling that correctly. And I'm on my Cardinal 4 that uh, I just had some service done to it. It's windy today, so hopefully the sound is halfway decent. So let's give this a try. Well, that cast wasn't very good. Pretty excited. Pretty excited to give this a try. Loosen up the drag a little bit. Hopefully that uh, highway noise isn't too bothersome. I'm here at Willow Pond here in Salt Lake. Well, just west of Holiday. Not using a leader. I'm not a believer in the leaders as of late.
about a week ago, well, less than a week ago, I caught about a uh, 17 inch brook trout. It was a planted fish, but it was still a really nice fish. There's a black hawk flying overhead. That's unusual. Never fished a drop shot before. The weather here is incredible right now. It's like 62 degrees or something. Reel's working really well. Like I like I said in that uh, video a while back, I bought this in 1980. Yeah, this reel is probably one of the oldest things I own. I was 11 at the time. This line sure does pop. Now, this whole technique might not be uh, very good for how I'm doing it, but uh, it's all about trying new things. trying to keep the line tight as much as possible.
Days are getting longer, which is nice. Okay, one more cast with this and I'm going to switch to my other rig. Casting's getting better. This line's starting to loosen up a bit. I'm going to try jigging it now a little bit. Okay, one more cast. I hope that one of these ducks doesn't grab onto it. That would suck. Okay, that didn't work out, no biggie. Switch to my other rod. So right here I got the Elder Baron on my uh, 
Suranoia Elf and Trout Rod. And I got a new line on this too, so. Let's see if I can break this in. Dial it back a little bit. I got a uh, six pound braid on this, purchased off of AliExpress. I like the uh, AliExpress because I can get braid, a thousand yards of braid for about $20, depending upon the sale. I'm using a uh, four strand. Um, but I will say that J braid is some of my favorite. J braid, Daiwa's J braid, is the thinnest braid I found on the marketplace by a considerable amount. This rod has been really good. I really like it. I actually love it. And I uh, did a review on this a while back. Oh, I got it from Dan Kung in China. Yeah, this line is really nice. I'm trying to reel it slow, bring it back slowly. got the sun on my back and it's getting really warm it's nice these fish are doing.
might have to rig up a trout magnet or something. Now, the great thing about this rod is when you cast it, wherever you point the rod and the follow-through, that is right where that bait goes. And this is like the first rod I've ever used where that happens consistently. Just doing the slow retrieve. I thought I had a hit, but I didn't. Getting a little overexcited here. That was weird.
Okay, that might be a fish. Some re yeah, I guess it is. Nice. I didn't even feel him hit. Maybe I snagged him. Well, that's a nice one too. Come on. Come on. That's a nice fish, I tell you. He did not even. I did not even feel him hit. Look at that. Nice. I gotta take a picture. Go on my camera. Get him in the water. Wow, that was crazy. I did not even feel him hit. It's like he just sucked it in. Okay. Well, I'm doing something right. This uh, this thing really came through. Now those are all planted brook trout. I think that may even be the uh, first fish on this uh, on this rod. That was awesome. At first I thought it was a weed or something. There's another one. There's another one. Nice. Oh, lost him. Right in that same spot. I wonder if there's a hole right in there. There's a hole or a oh. first bird's nest, sort of. I felt that one. I felt that one hit it. It's always a lot of fun when. Uh, when you come out here and you actually catch stuff. Oh! He'll be back. Yeah, there might be a school of them right in there. He didn't want to come after it, did he? And I tell you what, I am not using a leader. So... I don't know if these fish are really dumb, or they're really hungry, or both. That is crazy how I just lost that lure. She just snapped on me. Okay, well, and it's about 10 to 4, I gotta go pick up the dog. So that takes care of that. Until next time.